Well, good morning, Stanton, and today is my day on, you know what, I kind of forgot where I was at. Shit. We are on, oh, we're on Lyria. Okay. So, I figured that might be a little bit of mining up there, and as we all know, mining the rock is a pain in the ass simply because switching our stones from one side of the inventory to the other side of the inventory is mind-numbingly tedious. However, I have found a solution for this problem, aside from the one with CIG fixing the kiosk inside the mining outpost so you can actually sell straight from the rock. In any case, this will work for anything. So all those little loot goblins that like to server hop and, you know, raid the cache of goodies that are left behind by the non-existent population, you know, us guys. So, um, I found this app called Voice Attack Video. You might be familiar with it. We use it to verbally enact commands or well, I guess pretty much anything. You know, raise your shields, lower your shields, targeting, not targeting. The other good part about it is is well, you can use it as a macro. So with uh, with that in mind, I decided, well you know what? If you can do macros then uh, this should be you know pretty easy. So what we can do here is uh, we can switch rather rapidly items from one cache to the other. So um, here's how we accomplish that uh, that little bit of ingenuity. So here we go. For starters. We need to we need to go into our graphic settings and go from full screen to borderless. All right. So now that we got that going, um, you can see here we're going to bring up our voice attack and. Here's how we do it. It's pretty simple. It's straightforward. Download Voice Attack. You can download it. It's free. Um, you can pay for it. You cannot pay for it. Either way, um, if you pay for it, you get celebrity voices and stuff that can do your your uh, callback commands, like uh, you know, Captain, I've raised the shields and so on. But you can do what we're about to do with the free version. Um, I'll put a link for it in the description. If you really want it, um, it's just voiceattack.com. Pretty quick and simple. Um, once you open it up and go through all the little, you know, tidbits and stuff that they want to throw at us, make yourself a profile. Um, the default profile's got a lot of stuff in that that we really don't need. So just you know, just delete all that stuff. You can use that and just rename it. So here's what we do. The first thing you want to do is, um, for me, you can see my screen resolution here is 2560 by 1440, and it's currently on the borderless. You can use the windowed option. I just use the borderless one for this tutorial. So, as you can see here, we've got our list of macros. Um, basically, this is just commanding the cursor movement as we would in you know any looting situation where you want to take an item from one uh, loot container and put it in your inventory um, this just speeds it up substantially so what you want to do is you want to go over here to new command and you want to create a new command um, once that box opens up 
you'll have the option to rename it. Um, you rename it what you want, but keep it simple. Yes, if you're going to use uh, your voice to do it, that's one thing. It's just going to listen for whatever you named it. However, I suggest using a key press or a hotkey. Um, with this, you just, you know, assign it a hotkey, you know, control, left control, C, or what have you. And then uh, once that's assigned, you can assign it. You know, um, the next thing you want to do is come down here to your mouse option. And I know you probably are not going to be able to see this pretty good, but once you actually open up the application and take a look at it, it'll, it'll be very clear as to what's going on. Um, so we open up the mouse and we go to click this is the first one we want to do. So once you got the click open, come down here to the second column and you want to click on left mouse button down. And what that's going to do is just going to hold the left mouse button down at the point of origin. So speaking of the point of origin, before we get too far into this, let's set up our inventory. So now that you have this windowless borderless version of the game on your desktop, you want to take your cursor and set it just over the first item in your inventory. And then you want to tab it to bring up your uh, voice attack. So, we go to our mouse go to the click option I want to hold our left mouse button down click OK and then that's pretty much it um, make sure you name it we want to give it a key press we we'll use left control B for our uh, initiator button click OK so now we got our hotkey and then we want to go down to mouse again we want to go to move this time so once we open up our move don't worry about this top part right here we're not going to use none of that stuff but what you want to do is come over here and click on the left move left option and you figure if your screen resolution is you know uh 2000 by 1400 so it's 2000 across and we want to move the cursor from the right side of the screen to the left side of the screen. Um, I would say for that particular resolution, about a thousand is good. I mean, you can fine tune it if you want to, and you're probably going to have to tinker with it a little bit through trial and error to get it exactly the way you do want it. But um, that's why we start here. So once you get your uh, distance, we'll just put a thousand there for the sake of argument you want to make sure that using relative data is clicked and down here move from current cursor position which is why we put our cursor right up here at the top item you want to make sure that that's clicked off or clicked on rather and then animate movement the timing is the time it takes the cursor from the point of origin to move to its destination uh, so we want to do it relatively quick so it's going to be 0 0.050 as far as time 30 steps is fine you can just leave that alone uh, you can leave erase movement checked off um, checked on and then once you're done with that hit OK and then we got our next action so once it gets over here we want to drop our item so we're going to come back to the mouse option and go to click and this time we want to come down here to release release left button and uh, that's all we need to do with that and then we put it there so now finally we're going to come over here to move since our mouse is now over here we want to move it right back to the point of origin so we're going to take and then we're going to put 1000 pixels we want to make sure that moving relative data is clicked on 
and most everything else looks at it as a default is going to be the same and then your timing you want to make sure it's 050, uh, 0 0.050 and everything else should be the same it should as a default stay the way that it is when it pops up you shouldn't have to change anything and then you click OK and then that's the final um, the final command so once you got all of that done you come down here to the OK button and just hit OK and then you hit apply and then done and since this was just done for the sake of the tutorial we're going to go ahead and just erase this one because I already got the finished product there and that is the moved item to the left from the right so once you get all of that you hit apply you hit done and then you can click back into your game now from here this is what you want to play with your screen resolution whatever it is we're going to go back in here to options and then go to graphics and then we're going to set our um our window mode back to a full screen so now it shouldn't it shouldn't affect the distance any because technically voice attack still thinks it's running at this and not at whatever screen resolution you're upscaling to um, for me I use a 50 inch monitor so um, it's like what is it I think it's what the 3840 by 2160 and for my graphics card that's a little bit too much to ask so I keep it at 2560 by 1440 which is fine I don't I don't really get any like two major frame drops or anything like that so it works set this to go any direction you want. So if you want to put some of our stuff in the armor compartments, set it down, or we can send it back up. Oop. We can send it back up. But you get the idea. In any case, that's pretty much it. Um, it's pretty simple, straightforward. It makes mining a whole lot nicer. And uh, for us loot goblins, it should definitely pick up the pace and efficiency in our looting. So that was it in a nutshell. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment in the comments. See you around the verse.